Hey there! <laughs> I'm Rachel, if you don't know who I am, and today I'm doing another Trunk Club, not really unboxing because I already put it all on, try on and review. I'm gonna assume you all know what Trunk Club is because you watched a Trunk Club video. This is my first trunk that I have gotten since I got a Nordstrom credit card. Having that $25 styling fee, like, was making it super stressful for me because I feel like I had to keep something. If I don't love something, I'm not gonna keep it and I'm not gonna spend my money on it. The only request I made to my stylist was that I wanted some non-distressed, like ripping, you know, gashing holes in them mom jeans. Honestly, love my stylist, so I'm gonna leave my referral link, of course, down below. If you wanna try out Trunk Club and try out my stylist in particular, go click that link. The first three things I'm gonna go through are the mom jeans. <laughs> okay, so first ones are these Madewell mom jeans. They are the mom jean crop jeans. Stratfield wash, size 27, and they're $79.50. They're really sturdy, and I, I'm not gonna talk like that much about them because I think overall with the mom jeans, I realized it's a me problem, not a my stylist problem and not a problem with the jeans. It's just, I thought this was what I wanted and it wasn't. Um, I really like where these hit on my waist. Love that about them. It's just in the hip. I think these jeans were a little bit too heavy where it, it bulked out for me at my hips and I wasn't really into that look. I'm just obnoxious. Next pair is, I mean, you can see it's so similar to the first ones. It's also made well mom jeans. These are the high waist mom jeans and the downy wash. I don't, I didn't feel a difference between this waist and the other waist or the leg length. Also $79.50, also in a size 27. Again, love the waist. These ones had a little bit more of a distressing, which, I liked um, it didn't have like any tears but you can just see around the ankles they had like this little bit of distressing that I thought was super cute again very like heavy jeans so on the waist it just they didn't they weren't the most comfortable jean ever which honestly I wear leggings and sweatpants whenever I'm at home so and like jeggings otherwise so I don't know why I thought structured jeans would ever work for me and then the last pair of denim that I tried was some page denim which I have never tried before and I think I want to try more page denim because these things are so soft and so comfortable they are the vintage Noella ankle straight leg jeans and Casanova distressed 135 which is on sale I want to say they're 200 something. I really wanted to like them to get that great deal. They, again, like cute little distressing, but still work appropriate details on them. They had it on the pockets as well. I'm telling you, they were, they're soft, like they're soft jeans. They were a little bit lower cut than the Madewell jeans. And um, they fell a little bit like below my belly button than on my belly button and they felt great through the hips. I loved that look of them. It was just something about the ankle where, what style of jeans do I want? Tell me what style of jeans I need because I can't figure it out. I think I would have loved these page jeans if the ankle had been tighter. So like the same, the fit of these through the knee and then if it'd been more of like a tapered ankle. Does that exist? Does anyone have recommendations? Is there another like style of page jeans that I would like? Because I really am into these. I'm picky and you know what? If you're watching this video, that's who I am. That's what you've learned, I'm picky. Lathe, you know me, I love my lathe. Dolman sleeve crop sweater. It's a size small and it's $59. And it's cropped and as you can see, when I keep lifting my arms up, it, um. It's like significantly cropped. I mean, when your arms are down, it's not cropped, but it's a dolman. So when your arms go up a little bit, it pulls the whole shirt up and definitely gonna need some high-waisted jeans with this. But I thought this was really, really adorable. Um, kind of that like 90s vibe, which we know, you know, in for right now at least. I can wouldn't wear it to work because that's a lot of belly action, but this would look nice 
you know, go into a winery in the cooler months, maybe like apple picking. It's winter now, so I'd have to wait like nine months for that to happen. But I like this one. Let me know your thoughts on it. This next shirt I was surprised by. It's Castline Tie Front Tee Black. $39 is a size small. I don't really do button down. I don't know. But I like the tie detail on it. It's very nice. Um, the neckline is a little bit different on it. The way that it seems like normal neckline and then does the little droopy in there and then the sleeve length is kind of fun it's almost goes to my elbow it was very comfortable looser fit i feel like it'd be good for work or the weekends and just you know can't really go wrong with just like an easy versatile black shirt next up we've got two cashmere sweaters my comments on cashmere sweaters are going to be pretty standard across the two i hate dry cleaning stuff so I don't, I love the cashmere feel. It's so nice. It's just kind of a commitment for a cashmere sweater. This first one is Halogen, the V-neck cashmere sweater, gray heather, $49. And it's a size small. First of all, can we get over $49 for a cashmere sweater? It was originally $98. I do love the neckline of this, the way that it has this V-neck with kind of the crisscross on it, and it does the V-neck in the back as well. It just doesn't have that crisscross. It was very comfortable, nice. It was just kind of boxy for me. And again, with that dry clean, I don't know if I can commit to that, even though this is cashmere for under $50, so I feel kind of insane not considering that. Next up, another cashmere. This is from Nordstrom Signature, and it, again, is insanely on sale for cashmere. This one is cashmere pullover, size small, and it's $79.60. That is right, $199. And now it's $79.60, over $100 off. It did have this little detail where it's like a stripe, not really a stripe, but you know, the fabric. It's like the seam. A seam that's what it is the seam goes down the front and then also down the back and then the ribbing on this goes up pretty high oh god and i'm already getting hair all over this stuff wow okay and i think i've just learned why i can't own dark cashmere it's been in this room for 10 minutes and is already covered in animal hair it does look nice, again, kind of boxy, but am I absolutely insane to pass up a nice cashmere sweater that's supposed to be $200 and is now about 80? Clearly need to edit this quickly so that I can get some feedback on this stuff. The next top, like, you don't even have to give me your thoughts on because there's no way I'm keeping it. You know how weird I am if you've seen other of my videos about clothes with any type of ruching or that remind me whatsoever of maternity clothes i have two kids maternity clothes just like they don't give me a warm and fuzzy feeling uh, it is the flutter sleeve top from halogen size small 39 dollars. the top of the sleeve wasn't bad it's just that the flutter then continued down all the way which way it wasn't into and then the fabric of this is so super stretchy and it didn't have ruching per se but there's just a weird thing happening in the front with the fabric where it was looking like it could grow with the belly. Last top that we have, it is the cuff satin top from CC and it's $44.50, which great deal for a satin top. It is on sale because it's supposed to be. $74. Wow, great sales going on at Nordstrom right now in case you need some shopping to do. I like it. It has, obviously, on the sleeves, this really nice detail. It falls a little bit below the elbow. Just has these cute little bows. Um, as I learned while wearing this, though, satin, slippery material, and these bows come untied pretty easily. And then because of the placement are, um, sufficiently difficult to retie while you're wearing it so that would be my only concern is i'd be at work continuously turning to people being like can you tie my shirt again excuse me please tie my shirt for me um and it does the thing that i love when shirts do where it's cut 
a little bit higher in the front and longer in the back. Machine wash cold, light colors. Love that. All right, and then the last thing is a pair of shoes. These shoes. Adorable, right? Grassum pointed toe western boot from Vince Camuto. 89.37. Are cute. I want to like them. They look cute on me. They're so damn uncomfortable. I <laughs> put them on, went to walk downstairs to look in my full length mirror, and stopped on stair one because this part is just so stiff and was digging in just above my ankle where I feel like it was like digging into the bone in my skin as I tried to walk down the stairs that I gave up and said there's if I can't even make it down two stairs it doesn't matter what these look like I'm never gonna wear them I can't wear them at work I'm not gonna walk around in these things like I it's probably a breaking in issue I am not willing to commit to break in these shoes that's how much pain I was in so um that's a no it's all my clothes right now i'm leaning literally like leaning because my feet are hurting from this weird like position i'm in yeah so right now i'm leaning towards that doll dolman dolman dol dolman that crop sweater keeping that i don't do i love it do i not i don't mm, mm, mm. i'm gonna edit this thing pretty quickly and get it up so please let me know if there's anything you think i should keep i'm not losing a styling fee anymore i'm maybe good and just send it all back and save money in conclusion my stylist is the best again if you want to try trunk club try out my awesome stylist i'm leaving all her info down below let me know your thoughts on what style of jeans are gonna work on my body and that aren't straight up skinny jeans or jeggings and also aren't mom jeans. Is it straight like? Is that what I want? If you enjoyed this video, uh, there's a lot of other trunk club ones that you can watch to catch up if you haven't already. I uh, would love it if you would give it a little thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I, I do these and it's it's fun. It's a it's a hobby. It's a very stressful hobby, but it's a hobby. All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.